would have started this sooner. But anytime I try doing any kind of planning, of course, things gotta go to shit. Ha! <laughs> shit. Case in point, I almost struck my saliva there. Anyway, welcome to the hardcore let's play of Sonaka because it is incredibly hot. And I really wanted to play some Nautica again. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got air conditioning. <sighs> I hope my phone doesn't die. Marvel mode with only one life and no two alerts. Oh my god, what? I forgot how long it takes for the initial load. Press any button to continue. Hmm. Well, I don't see an any button on the controller, so let's try this one. Goodbye. That seems very familiar. Fire contained. Fuck, I'm exhausted. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Wow. Shit. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human lives. 
signs detected. Wrong button. Been playing too much Dishonored. I tried zooming in with the right stick. All right. Well. It's gonna, it feels a little, a little weird stern over, to be honest. <laughs> but it can be done. I just got to be very careful about water and food. And I have to be very cautious of oxygen. Um, all right, what should I start off with first? Scanner would be maybe would probably be best. Acid mushroom and copper. Two mushrooms. All right. Hi, Rabbit Ray. Oh, I landed pretty far away this time. that I think it is. I'm going to swim back up because I don't have the oxygen to go deep. But if that's where I think it is, I think I'm right next to a geothermal vent. Which means I got a good source of power nearby. That's only if that's where I think it is. Stuff for the scanner. Sorry if I sound super just disinterested. I am so goddamn tired today. But what else is new, right? <laughs> Alright. In the past, I've been a little harsh with you guys. But if you could please stay away from my base, I would very much appreciate it. Stay away from my base, and I won't turn you into... Mulch. Throws me off so much when I'm not further into the safe, further center of the safe, safe shallows. That takes me to the grassy plateaus, right? Yeah, I don't want to go to. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to go there yet. You know, just imagining being in this water is already cooling me down a lot. Uh, it's been a hell of a fucking heat wave we've had. It's just been 90 degrees non-stop these past weeks. I think it even broke 100 a few times. But that's just me basing it off my uh, car thermometer. Okay, it shouldn't be this hard to find rock. Ooh, I need to stay away from that.
Here we go. That is the piece I need, but not the one I wanted. Thank you, PDA. I knew you never doubted me. Fuck you. I miss all of them. <laughs> oh, that that messed with my head for a minute. Ugh. Gotta be, I swear I set up a thermal plant there once. to make a battery or not battery fuck flashlight yeah, glass okay so if I remember correctly I need to oh god damn it You're lucky I'm keeping an eye on my oxygen peeper. Now, I think oxygen drains a lot faster, too. There we go, Jesus. to tap into emergency reserves already, but... Indigenous life form... Oh my gosh! <laughs> so many sub categories and subcategories. Peeper, a fast prey fish encountered in shallow waters and rich in protein. Developed side-facing eyes capable of discerning colors, not just in shallow waters, but in a variety of lighting conditions. It is also capable to, sorry, capable, able to close its eyelids, thus preventing light from reflecting off the lenses and rendering the peeper almost invisible to nighttime predators. Powerful fins, 
This species has evolved powerful fins, which makes which enable rapid acceleration in still water and the ability to leap meters into the air to avoid pursuers. Beak, likely used to break down corals and tough vegetation, an unusually large nasal, cav nasal cavity serves no obvious purpose and appears to be specifically evolved to detect a single specific enzyme. Nothing encountered on the planet so far produces a matching odor. Expulsion tubes. The tubes attached to the peeper's torso are connected... Well, shit. Uh, stomach. Wait. Tubes attached to Peeper's torso are connected directly to its stomach and gills and appear to be designed to expel its contents on demand. Purpose unclear. While the Peeper is well adapted to survive in shallow waters, a number of its features serve no discernible purpose. It would appear to be just as well suited to survive in deeper waters and is somewhat more intelligent and is somewhat more intelligent than the usual small herbivore. Assessment: edible, high calorie count. Further research is required. And that's what we're gonna do. Not right now, obviously, but over the course of the game. Yeah, I really don't want to risk going in that without a flashlight. Yeah, I will do my best not to yawn into the microphone, but I make no promises. I really should not have taken that long to look for the damn batter to the ingredients for the damn battery, but Hey fellas. Sky Ray. Sky Ray has a bird like head and feathered wings which enable it to fly. Sky rays are commonly found circling fl floating structures and rarely venture out far out to sea. They will perch on dry land, but are prone to flee on approach. Wings. Although its wings give it some resemblance in silhouette to the waterborne rays on 4546b, analysis shows no greater genetic overlap with those species than the planetary average. In fact, the sky ray appears to have split off the evo evolutionary tree much earlier than most. Diets. Largely seed-based sky rays may have not been observed diving for food, which implies they rely on land-based plants for their survival. Assessment. Presence may indicate nearby dry land. Well, that's fantastic, but I don't want to go. Is it that way? Yeah, I don't want to go that way. And as sure as the sun sets, it also rises. Find it funny how the facility in that direction doesn't have proper cover. <laughs> Come on, give life to these whoppers. I need to search for shit. <laughs> See, I'm gonna need how many batteries? Go ahead. <sighs> Pardon me. Let me just go ahead and make that orange. Orange. Too far. Silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Also gonna need a battery. It should be easy enough if I can just find the damn uh, limestone outcrops. And away we go.
uh, 45, 46B on the surface, a calm looking planet, but deep down, housing many secrets. I swear you guys intentionally swim towards me. And until I get a better oxygen tank, I'm going to do my best to avoid searching in the sea glide. Yes, uh, searching in the caves because with 45 seconds of oxygen, that doesn't give me a lot of time to move in and out. It's amazing how when underwater just the slightest noise can make you unsettled. Makes sense though, we're not aquatic creatures. That's pretty much all this playthrough is going to be, right? Just me watching my oxygen gauge, making sure I don't overstay my welcome. Ugh. I mean, I guess that's kind of what base Nautica is, huh? Oh, I see you, you little bastard. Come on. Come on. Ow. Just because it is something I can scan. Cave sulfur. Cave sulfur. go down there because I don't have the oxygen to get back up I don't have the or rather I don't have the means to go down deep enough with enough spare time to go up I guess even rabbit rays get a case of the zoomies no oh, that was a barnacle Oh, I saw my own hand and it creeped me the fuck out. <laughs> uh, I should not be playing this when I'm this fucking exhausted. Brain coral. Think. A little bastard right there. Silicone rubber, I think. Oh, I need an. No! Oh, yeah, I'm kind of on the edge of the safe shallows. Okay, note to self, don't do that ever again. <laughs> oh, the pattern hurt my head. Christ, I'm still 100 meters away from it. <laughs> or a heka meter? Oh, 
Oh, okay, that was wreckage. <laughs> uh, it's too early in the night for me to be paranoid already. Funny, I always scan it, but I never use it. Maybe this playthrough I should. Yes, a bacon. I don't know how it's pronounced. I should not. I shouldn't be doing that ironically, though, because then at some point I'm gonna do it unironically, and then I'm gonna feel like a fucking jackass. Oh yeah, it's totally safe. Totally safe. There's some backup just to. So, this is the future, and they can make an oxygen tank that can reclaim oxygen just by being above water. But they can't make an oxygen tank that can filter the O from the H2O. So, anyone know any fun sea, uh, sea shanties? That has to be a thermal vent. I can make several tools. Uh, survival knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Which is an incredibly stupid thing, because we as well a knife can take you far. Weapons are also incredibly important in survival. Hell, weapons were... <laughs> Here's a fun fact about Russian astronauts. I think it was back during the space race. They would send the, the Russian astronauts up with shotguns because they would land back in the, uh... Ah, shit. <laughs> They'd land back down in the, uh... Wilderness of Siberia. <laughs> and if they landed down there and there was a bear, uh, well, I think you can assume what would happen if the cosmonaut didn't... didn't bleh, did not have a shotgun. I swear, you assholes always hide out around my bases. Wait, did it drift? Or am I just stupid? Probably stupid, considering how fucking tired I am. <laughs> this might be a short stream, depending on how long I can to keep my head up. <laughs> Always a brilliant idea, Mr. Robinson. Life 
Something just bump into me. Oh shit, okay. Oh, you want ah there. 45 46 B environment scan. Category 3 ocean planet, oxygen nitrogen atmosphere, extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings may support Leviathan class predators, and boy does it. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous materials, suits, and extensive support apparatus. Apparatuses. Actually, what is the plural? Plural on that. We. Apparati. Apparatuses. Apparatuses. Guess it depends on if it's a Greek, if the word is of Greek or Latin origin, huh? because the Romans were smart and added an I at the end of anything that was plural. The Greeks just added ES. Um, shit. Okay, I'm not going to find any salt in time. Oh, come on. You assholes were abundant just a minute ago. Where'd all the... <laughs> all the bladder fish just disappeared. That's fucking fantastic. Why are there so many of you? I don't remember there being this many of you in the safe shallows. Maybe I should try just eating a cooked peeper. It will return some water, but some is better than none. And I don't think I have the time to find salt. Oh my gosh, I bet this is so much easier on PC. Well, thank you, PDA. I do not like how close I am to that. And I don't think I can bump my life pod more this way. So I'm going to need to build an extensive lighting apparatus. <laughs> it won't be days at a time, but an hour? Hour 45? No problem! <laughs> I love that movie. Oh shit, that barely gave me any. I need to find a bladder fish and now. Okay, which way is the aurora? Fuck, I was going the complete wrong direction. I do not reckon. Damn it. First rule of survival. Establish of... Uh, Oh, wait, I have water back at... Well, that's my other water ration, but it's better than dying of thirst on my first go. <laughs> first rule of survival, secure a water source, then find food. Otherwise, this happens. Vital signs stabilizing. Not very much. Alright, what do I need for... it was glass... and a battery. Can I make a battery? What are my ingredients? Oh, I just... oh, I can grab those right now. Okay. Right there.
so I need to start building oxygen tanks. No, not deployables. Nope. Oh my gosh. Alright, one more quartz. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever been this far away from the Aurora. It's weird. It feels weird. Secondary systems online, outgoing radio communication offline, incoming radio communication online. Flotation devices deployed, hull integrity okay, and environment is all stuff I read before, and I really need to go pee. I'll be right back.
so sorry about that. <laughs> it's like a very last second thing that kind of just sprung up on me all of a sudden. Gotta love it when it happens. <sighs> so until I get a flashlight, I'm pretty much relegated to staying here all night. And I really need to start farming the shit out of salt and, uh, what's it called? Those coral tubes. <sighs> yeah, while I'm doing nothing, I might as well do something. Limestone outcrops. Unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis Hi. reveal... Hello, Rage Kid 27 Uh... Oh, where was I? Closer analysis reveals stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. How was your day? Pretty good. I am dead tired. <laughs> uh, but I guess that's the nice thing about this. No matter what your fatigue level is, it's still playable. Brain coral permanent. How's your day been? Brain coral, a permanent growing colony of microscopic organisms. Coral species has adopted, adapted to filter carbon dioxide from the environment using the carbon to. Subnautica, it is like my favorite game. Oh, uh, it's definitely up there for me. I'm not sure what my favorite game is. There's too many good ones. Uh, using wait, yeah, carbon dioxide from the environment. Using carbon build a colony, expelling oxygen from specialized exhaust funnels. It's quite handy, suggesting samples from immature specialists. PlayStation VR. I do. I don't know if I want to play this in VR mode. <laughs> a, because I know the controls are bad, and B, if I run into a Leviathan, I don't want to pass out. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if it's VR compatible on the PlayStation. Air tanks equipped to siphon oxygen from any so oh sun. And the name of Montezuma, rise. Wait, can you teach me how to play PlayStation VR on Subnautica? I can't figure out how to do it. Oh, I don't think it. it I don't think it's available because uh, usually if a game has VR support, it'll sh it, on the PlayStation. It'll say so. I think that's exclusive to Steam and whatever uh, VR thing you can uh, use for that. Unfortunately. Which sucks, but at the same time, I, I think PlayStation VR is a little tricky to mess with. Crap, what was my goal? Right, water. Thank you, Mum. Cause I wanted to ask you, do you have Five Nights at Freddy as help wanted it as okay if you don't eat? Oh, no, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm kind of on a tight budget right now, so unless it's free on, like, the, what was it, the PlayStation Plus? or Xbox uh, Game Pass, I can't really play anything. Aside from what I've already bought in the past. Take me further! Get back here! Get back here, I need lunch! I need lunch, damn it! Do you have a sea moth yet? Nope, I just started this pl this uh, playthrough. Not my first one, but I just started it. That whenever this, however long ago the stream started. I know where to find the fragments, but I'm trying to do this as organically as possible, I guess you could say. Let's not cook the bladder fish. Instead, let's turn that into water. 
I don't think I have the... Oh, no, I definitely don't have the vehicle station yet. Is this actually a hardcore world? Because if you die once, it is over and it is hard. Yep. I'm not too worried about it. As far as I remember, I didn't die on my normal playthrough, except for when I ran out of oxygen, but that was because I got lost. I'm pretty confident in my ability to keep myself alive. Although I say that now, I guarantee at some point I will kill myself unintentionally. Okay, uh, quartz. I need another thing of quartz. Why do you guys hang out right near there? Oh, I need to resurface. You win this round, gasopods. Oh, now the music kicks in. Uh, should I build up titanium stores, or should I wait until I have some storage? I can't even believe it as only 1150. It feels like it as 3 o'clock in the morning. It's only 11.50 where you are? It's 12.49 where I'm at. Oxygen! Some quartz. That's ah, what the great. They can phase through objects now. That's fantastic. New Sorry, whole fisher. Oh, I'm dead. 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 There you go, little buddy. I wish I could gift you, but you don't have a donation set up. Yeah, uh, I'm slowly getting to where I can accept donations. <laughs> I need like 30 more followers before I can do that. Which would be nice if I could finally get to that position because I need the money. Not just not just for my daily life, but just because I need money for school. That's coming up soon, and my current job is shafting me on hours. And for the, the new job I'm trying to apply to, I am having a hard time getting a hold of anyone. I still have yes, I do. How many tank. followers do you have right now? Uh, I believe it's at around 20. Oh, no, I need a... S I'm looking at the wrong thing. Titanium. But yeah, I need like... Tw I Yeah, I'm at 20 followers, so I need like 30 more before I can... You should get. stream VR games are really popular. I'll try that more often. The problem is our games will get you a lot of mm. The problem is I only got Skyrim VR and I just and usually if I stream that's cuz I don't have anything better to do and it's just more for me to rest around in. Also Skyrim VR doesn't allow any mods. Oh, that's definitely something I should try. More of Beat Saber is really popular. I recommend streaming that. And yeah, I'm sure people would more be interested in like the uh, what's it called the custom songs that you can find. Unfortunately, PlayStation VR doesn't have that. You can buy licensed songs, but uh, I'm worried I'd get copyright striked. 
Heck, on some of my Bioshock videos, on the one after uploading them to my archive channel, I got copyright strike on some of those older songs. Shit, what was I doing? Metal. Titanium, specifically. I dare do that one trick where I just have two in my inventory. Eh, but then that's two I have to refill every time. Oh, hi, Stalker. Oh, shit. Crisis averted. Averted. Tripping over my tongue tonight. I need to build those fins as soon as I can. <laughs> this is way too slow. go deeper to confirm my suspicions because if this is a geothermal event then I don't have to worry about power ever yep now I just need to find a now I just need to find the thermal vent the thermal generator not thermal vent and then the power pylon oh sh wait is that something Is that a basic unlock, or did I have to work towards that? I think I had to work towards that. Yeah, I gotta find it. Okay. That's about when the sun's gonna set, I think. Build the fins with what I currently have, or do I need a modification? Oh! Don't crash! Oh my gosh, don't crash on me, please! <laughs> I can't! Oh, I can save and quit, but I can't. Ugh. Wait, so how do I save? Oh, do I need a bed for that?
Come on. There we go. Hmm. I wonder if I can find it in VR game other VR games on the plat PlayStation. Oh no, I just needed to shit. Thanks, Mum. environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay, I still got a little bit of daylight. Let's go look for some water. Hi, I am back. Oh, welcome back. Oh, get away from my base. Well, life pod at the moment. I don't even have a base set up. Didn't miss much, just repaired the radio and made some glide, or not glide fins, but some fins. Oh, there's my phone on 5%. There we go. Yes, fine. All is good. So I guess if I have text to speech. Thank you. If I have text to speech, I don't really need to worry about that. I need a more stable source of water. A more filling stasis. A more filling state of water. <laughs> I am just tripping over my tongue tonight, holy cow. some salt in the giant coral tubes, but do I want to risk getting blown up? Oh, must salt. Quartz. surface well I'm definitely coming back here next time I need quartz Let's see cave sulfur do I have cave sulfur still no was streaming and two people wanted mod and I was and I can only give one of them and they said if I didn't he give them out I would they will unfollow me and I gave one the moderation that one unfollowed me well that's stupid you shouldn't pick mods just because someone or you shouldn't be forced in a situation to pick a mod just because someone wants to or is threatening with unfollowing I don't need fins. Uh, put those away. I am gonna need lubricant at a letter date. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. But yeah, that's just dumb. I would say someone has a mod, but I don't get that much 
<laughs> traffic through my comment through the chat room. How do you say is your favorite game is stream? Say is your what? Oh, my brain just did a whole reset. Sorry, give me a second. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I would shoot. So what would you say is your favorite game to stream? Um, what is my favorite game to stream? I'm not sure. All of them I've streamed, I've liked pretty much so far. I think the only one that kind of got dropped down on the list was Bioshock, because last time I was streaming that, I was just having audio issues abound. I fixed it, but it still dropped down to a few places. What else could I do? Got the knife. I can't. I don't have any silver yet. What is Bioshock? It is a really good game series. I, th I know part two is still up on my channel. Uh, if you want, you can check out my archive channel for the first episode. But base, it's, it's in an underwater setting, life subnautica. But you're, tra you're uh, stuck inside a. Without giving away too many spoilers, you're like trapped in this underwater city and you're trying to, uh, with, sorry, you're trapped in an underwater city with people who have basically mutated to the point where they're not human anymore, and you have to uh, mutate yourself to stay alive and contend with the denizens there. Yeah, might as well. I would also highly rec recommend that if you haven't played it, that you play it for yourself. It is a very good game. There we go. Oh, do I need the modification station for... I probably Where can do. I play it on? Uh, Steam, I th think... Uh, I that depends... Hmm. It's definitely on Steam. I don't think it's on Game Pass. It was. It's the remastered versions are available on PlayStation, and I do know they were free at. One, they were part of the. Uh, what was it? What the free monthly games? Hmm, let me see if I can build that. Um. Yeah, you can pretty much play on any next on any. Well, I say next gen console. I mean, like PlayStation Four and How much does Xbox it cost? One. Ah, uh, I think the price is at nineteen dollars. Let me check. Probably won't show up since I have it for free, but last I checked, I think it's like twenty dollars after tax. Ooh, the whole collection. Oh, wow. On uh, pl on pl uh, the PlayStation Store, it's currently on sale for $9. The entire Bioshock collection, which is Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. That's a, that's a steal if I ever saw one. Now that I can go deeper, maybe I should try going to the salt, to the grassy plateaus. Never mind, I'm just gonna swim back up. How come when I am streaming on my PlayStation every time I close the application it closes my stream? I don't know, I think that's just how they programmed it, to have the stream tied to the game. Which is dumb, because if I, if I want to, if you want to transfer to a different game, you wind up having to restart the stream all over. Uh, this is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. 
We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea guide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Oh boy, survivors! Because I need to see that under the water. Yeah, it's weird, because when streaming on the Xbox, you can switch the games as often as you want and nothing happens to the stream. Though it's a pain trying to get everything set up for the game, uh, not... It's a pain trying to get the uh, title to switch over when you switch games. But that just might be uh, me trying to mess with the phone, or app on the phone, and it's doing very little. Fucking. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite game? Not streaming, just Imagine favorite game. The life on this planet grows in unusually distant drive and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Minus ten. Sorry. <laughs> um. That's a hard one. I have because there's a lot of games that I like. And it's hard for me to pick just one as my favorite. Uh, yes, what game have I played the most? Just meet them off the games you like, but at the top. Great. Um, sorry, I need to think for a minute. Holy crap. Okay, uh, Red Dead 2, Bioshock, Red Dead Revolver, Bioshock 2, definitely 2 over 1. Um, what else? That's all I can think of right now. There's more to the list, I just that's all I can think of right now. So oh, Subnautica. <laughs> really forgot about the game I'm playing. Come on. Come on. Oh, the Persona series, that's the, another one of my favorites. That's all that can come to mind right now. I'm sure if I was more awake and had more time, or not more time, but if I was more awake and had a better memory, I could recall all my favorites. I need lead. That means I have to go this way. Ow. Really, belly flopped into that one. What can mods even do? Uh, you mean like mods for Twitch chat? Uh, mods for Twitch chat, they basically it helps uh, keep unwanted comments out of uh, out of the feed, or spammy comments, or really just anything you don't want in there. You can tell your moderator. Uh, just make sure this is gone. If you're talking about mods for games, um, that's just stuff the community comes up with to add to the game. Someone on in the Steam Workshop added the Gargantuan Leviathan to this game. And holy cow, is and holy hell is it terrifying. I saw a video where a guy was in a Cyclops out in the void where the Gargantuan Leviathan, where it replaces the ghost, the ghost Leviathans with the, gar with the Gargantuan and it just destroy the submarine in one bite. Okay, I need to be careful not to go too far off the stern of the ship. Cuz that's where the murder that's where the murder noodles live. You use OBS. Only when I'm streaming on my laptop. Beyond that, I don't just because it's a lot of hassle and 
Oh, I'm gonna get hurt. Or not. Just because it's a hassle to mess, uh, mess, mess with. Leave me alone, Sand Shark. You know what? This would be a lot faster if I could just build that stupid sea moth glide. That sea glide. Yes. <laughs> Thankfully, Sand Sharks ignore you after battery, lubricant, and wire. I have the copper. Ah, but I don't have the third copper for a battery. Thanks, Mom. Alright, well, I guess I'm hunting for more copper. What is uh, the scariest thing in some Multica nomads? Just scariest regular sub Multica. <laughs> hmm. I would say it is a tie between the Sea Dragon Leviathan. I'm gonna get hurt. Or not. Anyway, uh, I'd say it's a tie between the Sea Dragon Leviathan and the Reaper Leviathan. The Sea Dragon, because that thing, uh, no matter what you're in, that thing just pushes it around like it's a bath toy. I almost, the first time I played this game, I almost lost my my Cyclops to it. <laughs> thankfully, I had the smarts to, oh, well, not smarts, but thankfully I jumped out of my Cyclops fast enough to fix some of the holes on the outside and give it a little more dexterity. And then you got the Reaper Leviathans, where, well, as the game says, if it if you can hear it roar, it can see you. Which I don't think is an actual mechanic in the game, but just that description right there makes it a uh, something you want to ignore. I'd say a close second would probably be the Warpers, just because of how how much damage they can do in because such a... Because I've heard a lot of distant Leviathans. Like, right now? Are they getting hurt and moving to the safe... I hope that's not the case. There we go. For once, I can swim through the giant coral tube in peace. Yes, in your game, I be heard roars. Hmm. Now you got me paranoid. It's either got to be the soundtrack or s probably something from those guys, because I'm not close enough to Reaper territory. Now, chances are one of them got hurt and they might be in the safe shallows, because for whatever reason, the devs of the game programmed it so that whenever any creature takes any kind of damage, they head straight for point zero zero, which is the safe shallows. Copper... oh, acid mushrooms, duh. Yeah, I think a lot of the roars we've heard so far are from the gasopods. I'm hoping at least. One time I was I was in my base in the safe showers and a Reaper Libyan comes charging at my base. In the window. <laughs> that must have been a nice little wake up call. I don't have access to silver yet. Yeah, whenever I, whenever I build my base, I make sure that there's like zero chance anything that uh, it's going to be near the murder noodles. Okay, what else did I need? Have you ever been like just chilling in your CMOS and you hear dislike Raj that are really far away five seconds later it has right in your E? No. But my first time playing, I was looking for the drill arm for the prawn suit. 
and I couldn't find it in any of the safer, air quote, safer areas of Subnautica. So I had to go to the dunes. So I got, I basically walked the whole way there because I figured if I'm on the ground, chances are I won't get ambushed by a reaper. So the whole time I'm just looking down, looking forward, and I keep moving <laughs> to make sure it doesn't, the little bastard doesn't try and sneak up on me. There we go. And I get, I get, I scan the arm. I find what I'm looking for. Thanks, Mom. Okay, so, yeah. And then on my way back out of the uh, wreckage that I, was that I was looking through, a uh, Reaper decided it was going to attack me. Thankfully, I was close enough to the ground that it just collided with the ground and its pincers couldn't get my prawn suit. After, <laughs> after that happened, I'm just like, nope, just keep going. Don't look back. Just keep going forward. And then I want to say on my fifth... Maybe fifth, I'm not sure. Uh, playthrough of it, of Somatica. I was uh, I was looking for the Cyclops engine fragment that's closer to the back of the Aurora. I never go to Sandy Ness IV, the only gone there once, and I regretted it. <laughs> oh, I did too. I avoid that area as much as possible. I know that is nothing but death. Yeah, like on that playthrough, other playthrough I was talking about, I was somewhere around the back there looking for the Cyclops engine fragment. I don't see what I'm looking for, so I get into my steam off, and just as I'm turning away, I can barely, just barely, see a Reaper Levi Leviathan's face coming through the murky water. No roar or anything, just like silently creeping through, trying to get its jaws or its mandibles around my steam off. I was in a wreck and a reaper leviathan is just charging inside trying to grab me. Oh shit, biter. Yeah, they're they're determined. Hey reefies. Just chillin'. Hmm. And I'm going back to base. Get out of here, stalker. I need to resurface. I've seen a reaper levis and killed a reef back. Really? That seems a little hard. I I don't know how I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I believe that, to be honest. Not saying you're a liar, but I'm pretty certain that they're invincible. Right? The uh reef backs? Or is it just that no one has bothered trying to attack them, and I don't know that they have a health pool? Ah, fluid and damn it. All right, bladderfish. The bell tolls. It's time for you to go. Who do you think would win in a battle of Sea Dragon or, or Reaper Leviathan? Oh, easy answer, Sea Dragon. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Because I don't know if you ever found the remains, but in the, somewhere down in the inactive lava zone, you can find remains of a Reaper Leviathan, of uh, not a Reaper Leviathan, several you Reaper Leviathan. The sea yes, I had that glitch once. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. Uh, 
I'm not going over into the grassy plateaus at night because if a biter comes after me, I don't want to get bit. Do I have more PDA entries? Ooh. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light. One time I got You're killed by a binder this. when I was AFK. Stop seeing the maths. Be terrified. Yeah, that's, that's one thing with this game. You You have to make sure that if you're putting your controller down you pause otherwise you'll either either die from starvation or a or a predator comes around and gets you I need more water. A biter, a biter. Yeah, yeah, I, f I figure what you're talking. <laughs> I, I kind of knew what you're talking about. Autocorrect is just very fickle. Or heck, not even autocorrect. If your keyboard has that thing where you can slide your finger across and spell words really quickly. Oh, did you mean binder? No, I spelt biter. It happens every time whenever I'm trying to. S wow, what word was it? Can't think of the word, but anytime I try typing that word, it immediately autocorrects to the one I'm not trying to spell. Hmm. Oh, where can I find the laser cutter? I need to find that as soon as I can. And I need to find lead. How much lead? Two. Oh. Okay, that's less than I thought it was. Hmm. Wonder if that moon is tidally locked. What else do I gotta read? Radiation suit. Suit fully protects against effects of radiation during land, sea, and space exploration. I dare you to go to the void, but save your game before you do. <laughs> nice try. No one ever goes to the void. I know what's back there. I'm not going. At least not with my current... Actually, no, probably never. Safety rate up to 400 SV an hour. Oh, uh, what was that? I'm trying to go into radiology. You think I would remember what that means. Come on. Load. Load. Cross-compatible with all AEP. Suit functionality. Sleek. Ah, yes. God dang it. Uh... S V come on cooperate with me phone. H R Sievert. I'm not sure they're using that properly, but what do I know? Just some guy stuck on an alien planet. Where'd you go? Where'd you go?
Well, if I was a T-Rex, I would have been dead. Or at least so say people who think that the T-Rex vision was based on movement, which I think is baloney. Vital signs stabilizing. Because what kind of lame predator do you have to be where, ever, where all of your hunting ability is based solely on whether or not you can see something move? that real quick. No, I'm crazy. That was just Riley breathing. Okay. <laughs> Psyched myself out for nothing. I think being on hard hardcore mode has absolutely raised my senses to 11 because now I'm super tense. Bite or no biting. Finish, finish. Don't crash. Oh. Okay, I'm going to save and quit real quick. And then I'm going to load back in. Because I do not want the game to crash and <laughs> force me to start all over. This is why I hate PS4. Ugh. <sighs> I just think Subnautica is unstable on console versions. <sighs> oh. Uh, I wonder if it's more stable on the Xbox. That's something I can always test another time once I have more space because Microsoft thought it was a good idea to have very limited space on all their Xbox consoles. <sighs> At least they... At least they have the save and quit option. I like a PS4 store Xbox's idea what they did it better. Yeah. And apparent I guess uh play, play Sony thinks so too, because now they introduced like the three tier system for PlayStation Plus, which I'm not how PS4 still Xbox S idea, but did it better. Oh. I don't know, with Eh. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. In terms of the store, I think I prefer 
the Xbox's store a bit better. Not storage, store. They like get, uh, the game store because they have the Xbox Pass, which has a lot of free games on it. Speaking, is Sonatica still on there? I'll have to check. Yeah, but their game's always low graphic and glitchy. True, but that's because it's all backwards compatible, and I think some of those weren't meant to be d uh, played digitally. And sure, the two free games a month a month is fine, but I don't like waiting two months just for free games. I know PlayStation. There we go. PlayStation introduced a new system, but. I'm not paying $119 just so I can have full access to all their new and old games. As much as I would like to go on a nostalgia trip. Although I should say this before I un unintentionally start a console war. <laughs> Both consoles have their ups and downs. Uh, is that quartz? That's quartz. I'll take it regardless. Salt. Is there a tiger plant? <sighs> no tiger plant. Hate those things. Resurface, resurface. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen three this close before. Or these this close to each other, I should say. Um, no, that wasn't any lead. Damn it. Does that wreckage have laser cutters? Marguerite Maida, the one who killed the entire Degasi crew. Well, those the remaining surviving Dega remaining survivors of the Degasi. Hmm. Yeah, I got salt. So I might as well just bail out now. Get a coral tube and make some chlorine water. Wrong way. Why did you reset everything? Speaking of time, how long has this been going on for? Only an hour thirty-nine. Really, really funny to watch. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. I try to be. Probably helps us some nights I'm tripping over my own tongue because I am too dang tired. Well, I'm not normally this tired. It's just a combination of four hours of sleep, getting up at 10 in the morning, 
and still recover. I'm going to dox myself. Uh oh. Probably not a good idea. Ah, that coral table. That's what I need. Just kidding, he controls never doing that. Okay. Oh, sh was it two or I'm gonna take two just two? <laughs> I'll take the third one for. Uh. And now I need food. Is this all survival is going to be? Just me running back and... Well, once I have the water filter set up, I won't have to worry too much. Do you ever actually use giant coral in the game? It is an essential chemical used for cleaning rooms and purifying water. For making disinfected water. Because one bleach gives you two of those. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration. And eventual death. Okay, so I got two more. I can't go that way because that's irradiated. What do you need giant coral for a breach? For a breach? <laughs> uh, you turn the bleach, you make it into bleach, and then you use the bleach to make. Was it disinfected water? Yes. And then that gives you 30 uh, hydration back. Food. Get back here. Get back here, you just volunteered. No, do you? That is literally the only thing you use giant core for. Pretty much. And then, of course, it becomes obsolete once you have the water filter. Ugh, I need to make another battery. Ain't life underwater, underwater grand. Yep, there we go. Good timing, or...? Aurora, I need to find a laser. The system is so good you take the you go on adventure you drink those you come back and there has two more for you. Oh yeah. Help, they won't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn, Charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range stands pick up in the meantime. Sunbeam, I've seen the future. You do not want to come. Ah, <sighs> okay, so salt, laser cutter fragments. I guess might as well look for the sea moth. Damn charter schools are gonna have us blowing on Altera. <laughs> oh, shh. I cannot wait until I find this modification station. I know where it is, it's just a matter of making sure I don't die trying to get it. Because once I get that, I can upgrade my capacity. What would you say is the most useful material in the game? Hmm. That's a tough one. Because 
useful because they're all pretty useful except for the coral the coral it didn't stay in the house coral um hmm You know, I'm not too sure. I would say titanium. <laughs> yeah, uh, obvious one. Because, <laughs> as one person put it, you always need titanium, and you never had enough. Have enough. And according to another person, they increased how much you can carry in cargo stuff in below zero, but you still don't have enough titanium for any of the stuff you're doing. I feel like that's most survival games, though. You never have enough of the one material you need the most of. I don't know if that's just design oversight, or if they were trying to figure out what the balance between... Ooh, floodlight. Uh, the balance between grind and feeling accomplished. And it is like the most common material to get. Oh yeah. Hmm. Should I head back? Nah, it's relatively safe right here. I think there's a sand shark down there, but it never comes up. I still need to find lead. You literally have more nickels on Taiwan. <laughs> uh, 37%. Why you gotta eat the battery so much, Sea Glide? You literally get more nickel than titanium. Oh, <laughs> that was the weirdest autocorrect ever. <laughs> then again, I think nickel is super specific and on what it needs, and it's a little o mm, you know what? no, I'm not going down there. It's a little overabundant. Because I think you only need it for a few depth upgrades, and then that's it. <sighs> okay, so how am I going to do this? I only have 75 seconds of oxygen. And I need to get in there and find the laser cutter fragments and the modification station. What but stupid that has not occurred is you grab materials from the deep down below, you come back up and you really like you miss one. Oh yeah. Gotta love it. And you're still trying... <laughs> it's also at that point you're still trying to get off your adrenaline high of avoiding all the leviathans down there. Oh, I and hope. Then you have to go all the way back down for one. Yep. Speaking of leviathans, I hope the sea dragon isn't bugged out this time. Because there's a bug. I think it's for all the leviathans. I'm not sure if it applies to reapers though, where they will just instantly be aggravated. Like even if you didn't get their attention, they will just some they'll just home in on you like you insulted their mother or something. Well, that was a waste of a day. I did find silver, but so my now my friend I... always says your mom and then says nothing else is like haha -ha roasted. <laughs> I 
Ah, yes. Computer ch How much gold? Eh, but I need copper. Well, I'm close enough that I think I don't need to venture too far for a table coral sample. Literally saying the word mom now is offensive. <laughs> yeah, everything, just about everything is offensive and it's really offensive to super sensitive people and it's really stupid. Oh no, that's just the weird, okay. Right. I need the copper wire. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am... My sanity is slowly stri being stripped away. Heh. <laughs> 69%. You know what that means, right? I'm I officially... say sentence wrong and he is like I am never being friends with you again. Yeah, that's dumb. Another glorious sunrise, and my voice cracked. I swear, I'm an adult human. When are you gonna go to the Aurora? Uh, I want to wait till I have the laser cutter. Ooh, no, I need to. Laser cutter and propulsion cannon. I will go there, but... And... Well, I guess I don't really need the sea moth, do I? That's one. Where's... Yeah, eventually. I want to make sure I got all the tools before I go there. So that I'm not just running back and forth. And potentially getting the attention of... Of the uh, Leviathan at the at the bow. Did you know Power Wash them is becoming multiplayer? Oh, you mean Power Wash Simulator? I think. Gosh, all these updates. Um, yeah, I think I saw that the, that Power Wash thing becoming multiplayer. That rabbit ray is Soren. It's late for a very important date. Sunbeam? Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. I'm not gonna take a... What else can I say? Mm. The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm gonna take a nice uh, long sip of, oh, you jerk. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Maybe don't assume the distress call is fake. Uh, don't choke on the water, damn it. <laughs> Did I have two bits of copper? No, I didn't. I knew you were what lying. What you need to do is get a beacon, and then when the locator comes, you put a beacon where the island is. Yeah. Oh, I already know where the island is. And I think it marks... When the sunbeam comes to land, it marks the land for you, so I don't really need to worry about that.
Need to save battery for the sea glide. Four hundred meters. Long swim. Well, I guess it's no different than what the than what they swim at the Olympics. That's like two laps in the freestyle. No, four laps. This is like a hundred. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Because I remember there's the 400 meter freestyle, but I don't remember if that's two laps going back and forth or four laps. Ah, was there any brain coral down here? That's right, swim away. Hmm, I guess while I'm over here, I should also search for those ow, sandstone outcrops. Because if I don't have the radiation suit, I can't go anywhere near the, the Aurora. Oh. <laughs> uh, resurface for air. That's not what I meant to do. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I thought Siri would go emoji, emoji, emoji. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sometimes sex to speech does do that, and sometimes it doesn't. I think it has to recognize what kind of emoji it's being used. Disappointed face. There we go. Nope, don't even think of going that way. Battery charging station, I think. Okay, I gotta go. Yep, doesn't recognize that one. Swim, 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 Riley. Emoji face with symbols on mouth. Since recognize the face ones. No, I, I don't need the emoji dotted line face. Emoji pile of poo, 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 emoji pile of poo. Ah, yes, a command chair, so you can be commanding. Acquired. 
Am I being stupid in that I think I need a modification emoji station? Emoji pile of poo, 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 emoji pile of poo. Emoji pile of poo, 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 emoji pile of poo. Emoji pile of poo, 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 emoji skipping the rest. No ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. There we go. MOG face vomiting. <sighs> MOG face with medical mask. Okay, I think I may have been stupid in thinking that I need the modification station. I might just maybe not need it for this upgrade. MOG lipstick. Hi Sand Shark. Silver, but not what I needed. Passing one hundred meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Standard O2, glass, titanium, and silver. I think I've said this several times before. But hearing that noise Anyways, reminds me. How is your knife going? I am done spamming. <laughs> eh, good. Although I think I may have been stupid on thinking that I needed a modification station to build the next level of oxygen tank that I need. Which means I have been wasting time and might not get to the aura for the thing that shows up after the sunbeam gets blown up. What was it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I wish I could gift you. Yeah, unfortunately, I still got to get to that point. Get to that point where I can accept gifts. Um... Wow, my brain just did a hard restart. What the hell was I talking about? Right. So hearing the reef backs reminded me of a fun fact about whale calls. If you are right next to a whale and it makes its noise, it can vibrate you to death. <sighs> yep. Well, I got something in between, in between my ears, but it sure as heck isn't brain.
Make some blech. The email I sent was worth 1000 bits sent, so if I could, I would send you 1000 bits. What was I doing? Further up. Further up. Not email emoji. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I need to deconstruct one of them. Hmm. Yeah, of course I'm going out when... Why wouldn't I go out when it's dark? How did you get over here? Laugh it up, fuzzball. Okay. There we go. Equip that. Oh, what a fool I've been. <sighs> Thanks for cooperating with me, Brain. Really appreciate it. I just saw something in the water and I couldn't tell if it was my hand or a rabbit ray. Oh, I should put away those table coral samples. Hmm. You know, so I think I mentioned this before. Well, something this game gets wrong is that a rebreather doesn't make it easier to breathe at deep... I mean, in real life, it wouldn't make it easier to breathe at deeper depths. It would allow you to breathe underwater for longer because it basically recycles your oxygen. And what's better about it is it's quieter because it doesn't produce any air bubbles like an oxygen tank would. Propulsion cannon. Propulsion cannon allows technicians to manipulate gravitational forces at ranges up to 20 meters. Hmm. It is commonly used in construction and mining to move materials, pull trigger one slit, lock onto and attract single target object weighing less than 25 kilograms. Can now be retrieved from gravitational beam. Alternatively, pull trigger a second time pro to propel the object at a speed away from the device. Not recommended for use on organic subjects. The prop cannon. Some species are telekine telekinetic. For everyone else, there's Altera. That 
That one's got to be tightly locked. That has not moved at all. Hmm, do I go fishing or no? For how choppy this water is, I'm surprised the raft is staying uh, still. I can't believe I wasted so much time thinking any of the modification station that was... I don't want to tell me there's going to be a solar eclipse. Uh, might just barely miss it. Or will that be a lunar eclipse? Nah, lunar eclipse is when the planet's in front of it, right? Alright, NF Dottlin. I really should make another battery. I think I've hit that point where I need to stop, but I'm not sure if I should. One more thing of lead. And then a sample of seaweed. Hello, fish. We surface real quick. Oh boy. Oh. 
Okay, now that I have a little bit more oxygen to work with. No thanks to you, brain. You think when the developers told this guy that he had to make a uh, audio, th or not an audio thing, but like make it seem like this thing was having a malfunction, that he just slammed his his uh, palms on the keyboard and just moved them up and down? It's probably what I'd do. Don't panic, don't panic. Okay, maybe start panicking a little. A lot, panic a lot. It's fine, what are you guys talking about, me panicking? swivel chair. It doesn't swivel the bastards. Zero out of ten. Swivel chair doesn't swivel. Oh yes, these fragments. Just one more of those, I think. Nope, never mind. No, I I just scanned the last of them. Hmm. Don't panic. really pushing my luck. <sighs> okay. Sandstone. Never mind, not going that way. Take care now, bye bye then. Yes, oh my fucking. That took entirely way too long. Something interesting that I remember about the reef backs is for the sound, it's really just the guy going, ah. <laughs> they slowed it down and stretched it out. So it sounds like a whale call. 
whale. So close to falling asleep on the spot. <laughs> Pardon me. Give me those two oxygen molecules. All of them. Peeper, I choose you. has this been going on for come on I might need to end the stream soon I am don't crash on me I am fading fast holy shit like there's a point where my energy was good and now it's just flat lightning and I feel like I'm about to fall asleep don't crash please Limestone. Okay, if any one of those things moved in here, I am going to be upset. No, don't need titanium. Shit, was it one that makes two synthetic fiber or two that makes one synthetic fiber? <sighs> hey man, uh, looks like you got the plague there. Mind. I'm just gonna swim away. 
Okay, once I get this lead suit made, I'm that, that's gonna be the end of the stream. I I cannot keep going. I've hit my wall. Okay, so it was two for one. All right. And then let's. Okay, so I need three more. I need to grab that one lead from storage, otherwise I won't have enough lead. there that will do it for the stream tonight normally I go for three hours but I, I I don't have the energy I'm falling asleep as it is mm. yeah. unfortunately one of the bigger problems of Sonaka has reared its ugly head is that progress is slow anyway if you watched this while I was live I appreciate you stopping on by if we're watching this as any kind of archive footage, I also appreciate it. Rage Kid, thank you for your comments in the chat. Um, I really don't have anything else to say, and I really want to get to bed. So with that, and since this is how I end all my streams, as always, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>